What is an article review? An article review refers to a written work that evaluates and analyzes the merit of another expert's work. It aims to inform, critically evaluate, and summarize a specific topic, check the contributions the research has made to the field of study, and identify gaps in research. The article review is generally not tested like other essays, such as argumentative essays, since it is mainly used outside the education system. You can choose an article to review based on your major or your target audience. What are the types of article reviews? There are three main categories of article reviews depending on the purpose they accomplish. They are 1. Systematic review. This involves a detailed analysis of a study and focuses on the methodology used and also synthesizes the biases and errors encountered. Many prefer the systemic review as it offers a more comprehensive approach, has a low bias, is transparent, and answers important technical questions. It is often called secondary research since it critically analyzes primary research done by an expert. To offer value to other practitioners, a systemic review should identify all relevant studies, present and synthesized data, and have a clear objective and explicit methodology. An example would be an analysis of a particular drug's efficiency. 2. Literature review. A literature review focuses on providing a summary, overview, and critique of a particular broad subject. It mainly seeks to present the facts and hence is a contextual report. It is less exhaustive and comprehensive in comparison to the systemic review. For this reason, does not require as much planning since you only need to collect a published study and review it. 3. Meta-analysis. A meta-analysis involves the use of statistics to gather the results of an independent study as well as critique it. It combines research from several studies and offers estimates of the outcomes. As such, it is a systematic review that uses quantitative research methods to analyze the studies chosen. Many prefer it since it is highly objective and hence can offer clear insight on article review topics. How do you write an article review? Writing an article review can be a long and tedious process that requires you to investigate technical details, hence many students are unaware of how to approach this type of assignment. Since an article review is meant to assess a student's analytical skills, there is a particular approach you should employ to maximize your possible total score. Among the tips that can help you do this are, 1. Knowing the type of article review you will undertake, since each article review differs, it is important to understand whether the article review topics that were chosen fall in the literature review, systematic review, or meta-analysis. Most of the time, your instructor will clearly note the type they expect in the instructions, too. Understand the definition, to avoid making errors and fulfilling all the requirements expected of an article review, it is important to understand how it works. For one, it does not present your opinion, especially for the systematic review and meta-analysis. It also evaluates the research done and simply responds to the original document. 3. Write an outline. The value of doing this is that you can collect the best possible points you would like to address and organize them in order. An outline also helps you check if your review answers the question and if the research was well conducted. Some questions our article review writers recommend that would help you in this regard are What is the purpose of the article? Does the researcher clearly define and tackle the key concepts? Is the evidence provided good? Is the research relevant to its field and major? Does the research advance its field or major? 4. Formulate a good title. Your title should inform readers of what the review is about and can help draw them in. It can either be descriptive, interrogative, or declarative, thus drawing interest from the readers. 5. Include a citation. Under the title, be sure to cite the article to provide readers with a reference. This should be the complete citation, including the author's name, publication title, publisher or URL, date published, and other relevant details. The citation style, however, depends on your instructor or your field of study. 
MLA is common in languages and humanities, APA is mainly used for social sciences, Harvard is used in education, and Chicago is for history and social sciences. Despite the tips provided above, many students still struggle with implementing them and scoring good grades. This might be because they are inexperienced or overwhelmed with other tasks. As such, they can place their order here for quick and quality article review writing help from experts. How should you structure an article review? Every assignment has a particular structure that helps one properly organize points in a readable manner. In our guide on how to format an essay, we present the usual structure with an introduction, body, and conclusion. These are commonly used for essays within the realm of argumentative, narrative, descriptive, and expository. However, the article review format is slightly different, and the parts are explained below. 1. Introduction. Using around 10 to 25% of the total word count, identify the central themes and the author's thesis. Please note that an article review uses a formal tone and preferably a third-person narrative. Also, be sure to state your own thesis. Begin by reading through the article and noting down important points you can identify from the research conducted. This section can form the basis of your introductory paragraph. An example of a good introduction for an article review of how food quality is leading to mental health problems is, in his 2019 article, Jordan Ryle seeks to understand if there is a link between mental health problems and modern diets. Over the years, there have been changes in agriculture, and food is available in abundance owing to the use of chemicals in agriculture. He states that the chemicals used often trigger mental health problems in addition to lifestyle diseases such as diabetes and heart disease. As such, he gathered research to help prove this and suggested that the chemicals often cause brain hormonal imbalances that lead to mental illnesses. This review will analyze the claims made and see if they are valid. However, it is highly likely since some foods are known to affect humans' mental states. To discuss its merit, proceed to explain how the article achieves its goals and how the research contributes to its field. You can also add observations or implications of the research you just conducted. Many students have trouble articulating their own thoughts, especially in comparison to an industry expert, but you can avoid this by booking our article review writing service, which is sure to help you write a stellar article review. 3. Identify gaps, look into what the article left out and address it, especially any inconsistencies in their findings and conclusion. Ensure that your critique is relevant to the article being discussed. 4. Conclusion, use this section to summarize the main points of the essay. A 10% word count is enough for you to address the points made by the article and your opinions or findings on it. A good example of a conclusion for an article review on how food quality is leading to mental health problems would be, this article review has analyzed the article how food quality is leading to more lifestyle diseases by Jordan Ryle. It states that poor food quality is responsible for the increase in diabetes and heart disease, as well as mental illnesses since the processed chemicals used in certain foods have effects on the human brain. The research done is impeccable and shows the reality and effects of modern dietary choices. However, there is little information and public knowledge regarding this. The points used are free from prejudice and assumption and offer an insightful look at one of the reasons health is declining for many. As such, the points are used to boost the author's credibility and reinforce his argument. You can learn more about how to write a conclusion for an essay if you need to sharpen your conclusion writing skills.